yo 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 it's d arthur in the building <laughs> i'm talking to you guys today about why you will no longer be attracted to her when you're on retention now this this might be a controversial statement but it, it it may or may not be true depending on who you are and what you've really what you've really decided to notice about yourself if you've been on retention for a little bit of time see the thing is see see the thing is when you when you were weren't on retention when you were fapping or when you were just busting in vain you you weren't as, um, it just wasn't, it just didn't mean anything. So you, there was a void in you. It didn't mean anything as much. And so like, so it never really meant anything. And if it never means anything when you, when you're, when you're busting, like it just means that you're doing it just to, you're doing it for pleasure instead of something, you're doing it for pleasure instead of something intentional. And this is a, this is a big problem because if you keep doing this, you're going to live through pleasure. You're never really going to get to the place that you really want to be because you're always living through pleasure. You're never living through purpose. You have to live purpose is over pleasure 100 percent of the time. Purpose over pleasure. And you will no longer be attracted to her, attracted to her on retention you you used to think she was the center of your world. She was she was the best thing that could have ever happened since sliced bread. But now when you're on retention, now since you're present, now since you're fully in the moment now that you're giving a fight for life instead of being until instead of having submission for life, you start realizing that you you may not even be attracted to her as much. You don't need her as much as you think that you used to and this is powerful because people say oh oh i need her blah 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 this this that she was everything blah 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 people in the comments are saying uh, i'm using retention to try to attract my ex and if you're doing that you're literally doing this for the wrong reason and this is a very big problem because you're not you're not actually over it People try to use retention to get over somebody, and that is just not the case. That still means your focus is on them. You're, you're, you still have attention on them, and that is just, you will never really get anywhere if that becomes the case. So you have to do, you have to realize that retention is for yourself. It has to be only for yourself. You're literally doing this for yourself. Is doing you're doing it so you can have more abundance in your life. You can be more present. You can be more happy. You can finally just become somebody that you really want to be, and you can put up a fight in life because the thing is, like, like life in general, it it, it is pretty. It gets pretty daunting. It gets pretty daunting. It gets pretty hard for certain people. But if you're on attention, you're at least giving a fight. You're at least giving yourself a, a fighting chance um, because anything that you're not satisfied with, you're doing everything in your power to fix it. And this is powerful. A lot of people just have submission to life. They 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 want to build wealth, but they just gave up. They, they think they're too much in debt. They're never going to try. They want to be in the best shape of their lives, but they give up. They don't have any they don't have any fight in them their habits are garbage and their life tends to your life literally tends to become in direct correlation on what you do every single day so so you will no longer be attracted to them as much on retention you first like i said you first thought that you needed them but now you don't really need them you're 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 living in you're finally living in bliss in euphoria you don't need anybody you might sure you want me might want some company but you're not it's no longer something that is daunting you forever um like i said you used to crave her now you don't need her you're living in abundance you're, you're living in an abundant state of mind because you have so much dopamine so much to offer to the world 
that you really don't need any single person. Sure, you, I'm sure a companion would be nice. Sure, it's something that, I mean, we all strive for, but it's not something that you're, it's not your main priority. You have other things going on. You're an advancing man. You're increasing your life. There's something more that you need to conquer before all is said and done. You're on a mission. You're on purpose. You're on strategic action mode. So you don't, you don't really have time for every single thing. Like I said, you're happier with yourself. But the thing is, I mean, you're happier with yourself, but that, that doesn't mean that, I mean, you're, you're, go you're going to totally just cut everybody off. That's not what I'm saying. You're happy enough to be by yourself, but at some point, I mean, you would like, at some point, whether you want it or not, it's not like you're you're totally shutting everything off. You're just, you're just, I'm just saying that you don't really need to depend on any, anybody else. <clears throat> like you can depend on yourself, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you don't really need anybody else. If that's what I'm trying to say. Sure. You would, like I said, sure. You would like somebody if, if, if it, if it won't cost you a, an arm and a leg, but you're really, you're self-reliant. Like I said, like I said, you don't need her anymore because you're happier with yourself. You're more present in the moment. You have a conquer the world mentality. Every single thing that you're, you are not happy with, you are going to give it a fight to try to change it. You have the conquer the world mentality. You have a mentality that says that I have to get my life 100% in satisfaction. And I will not stop until I get every single thing that I am going for. And if you have this mentality... You are literally in the top 1% because a lot of people have submission. They have submission to every single thing that haunts them. They have submission to their, maybe to their weight. They have submission to their relationships that they wanted. They have submission to to, to money. They think that they, there's only one way to earn income. So they have submission on other ways of earning income. They, they think that they have to, they think they have to, survive with their with their only job and they there's nothing else that they can do they have submission in in the websites they have submission they they don't they stop looking for a partner because they just don't think that they they're attractive enough there's a lot of submission that goes on but if you're on attention you're at least giving yourself a fighting chance you're waking up every single day and you're giving yourself a fighting chance and if you're at least giving yourself the ability to have a fight then you eventually you'll get what you want. Eventually you'll get what you want. <clears throat> and like I said, you don't really need her to fill a void anymore. You don't really need her as much. Like you're so since you're on retention, like the opposite is if you're consistently relapsing with your hand, like obviously it seems like you might you may need somebody. Um you just you're just less full. You're just full, you're just less full with yourself, so you think you might need somebody. You're 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 probably in a more vulnerable state when you decide to relapse by yourself. But if you're on retention, like I said, your sack is full. Your life is filled up. Think about think about semen retention as a glass, and it's water is if you, if you're on retention, you have full water. Um. But if you're not on retention, you have an empty glass and you need something else. You need somebody else to pour it, to pour water into your glass. But if you're on retention, your, your cup is already full. So you don't really need anybody else to fill, fill this uh, cup up, if that makes sense. So, I mean, it would be best to be on retention and to be on your purpose. And then eventually when you're on that, you start, you start to attract, um, you start to attract better things just because you, you don't need other things as much you don't need other things as much you're just very okay with yourself and this this take this into hand if if it comes to anything in your life um the less you need any the less you need other things the more likely they're they're going to come to you just because of your detachment if you need other if you need more than if you need other things then it's a slight it's just less likely for it to come um into your life this is from first-hand experience you have to get to the point where you're just so okay with your life that you don't really need anything else sure you would like additions but your 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 core self is very is very okay and you don't need anything else and notice i said the word need instead of want there's a difference between needing something and wanting something when you're on retention you don't really need anything 
but sure you would it would be you would be okay with having things if that makes sense <clears throat> so you will no longer be attracted to her as much on retention you don't need her anymore you might have like i said you might have you thought you might have needed her maybe in the past you thought you might have needed her um when you weren't as okay with yourself but now since you're on retention now since you're you're giving yourself a fighting chance for life now now you're opening up your mind and you're you're open to receive better and newer things that old person that you thought you needed you really just don't you probably just don't need them as much anymore and this is powerful like i said so there's people there's people who who were saying that oh i'm going to be on retention and then i'm going to attract my ex and like i said if you're if that's the reason why you're doing this you already lost because like i said you're focused on them instead of focusing on yourself like I said, you don't need anything else. <clears throat> you don't need anything else. Um, if you're if you're if you're at least giving yourself a fighting chance and you're at least getting up and doing something about your situation, if you don't like it or not, then eventually everything will come full circle and eventually things will start working out in your favor. But you don't need anybody else. You, you need yourself and you need to give yourself a fighting chance every day. And that's what you are saying to the world when you decide to go on retention. Because like I said, when you're, when, when you're on retention, you're giving yourself a fighting chance. When you're on retention, you're basically saying that you're not satisfied with, with, with certain aspects of real life. And you're basically, you're quote unquote fasting to get a bigger reward maybe in the future if this is how you want to think about it this is a, this is a very powerful concept that you can really use and you can utilize to your advantage if you do it properly if you're actually serious about this because this can really change the trajectory of your life if you do this properly so i'm going to stop there if that video helped you at any all make sure you comment make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and then if you have any more questions about anything maybe ask retention metaphysical law of attraction or anything like that please um submit a question down below and i will do my best to over deliver it we'll see you in the next one peace